welcome back most of you already know that few years back i have published a video titled how to use facebook graph api and recently i have received some comment on that video which says that the steps mentioned on that video doesn't work anymore which means that facebook has done some changes at their end that is why people are not able to follow the steps mentioned in that video so let's see what are the changes they have done and let's try to uh, hit some apis from facebook and add permissions as well because here some users are unable to add permission so let's help them so i will go to uh, my facebook from here i will create a new app here i have to select other and click on next after that we will select business because this is related to pages events groups ads manager okay and click on next here it was asking for app name so give a name of this app as tab 3 and click on create app it will ask for password as well as i have already logged in just few seconds before that is why it is not asking me for a password now the app has been created let's search for facebook graph api from here we will go to tools graph api explorer and as you can see test app 1 is selected and we have created test app 3 so let's click on this test app 3 and uh, here you can see we aren't able to generate access token as well so first of all let's give permission earlier user was user were unable to add permission so let's now see if we are able to add permission or not so i will give one permission to find the list of pages page show list now let's click, click generate access token so continuous salesforce and we here we are giving access of test page to this application test f3 we aren't giving access of all the pages we are only giving access of test page let's click on continue and save now if i submit i will be able to find the id and name of the user who's using which profile i have logged in so i have logged in as salesforce and this is the name of the the id of the user now let's try to find the list of uh, pages i will duplicate it and here instead of this i will hit the accounts endpoint accounts it's it gives the list of pages and let's click on submit and as you can see we are able to find the list of one page because we have we are we have given the access of one page to this app that is why we are only getting one page if we have given the access of both the pages then we will get both the pages let's verify if this page is exist or not so let's see here as you can see i have created a test page and the category is local and travel website here also you can see we have created a test page and the category is local and travel website and this is the id of the uh, category so this is how you can like uh, now use the apis from here you can add permission you have to only remember one thing you have to select the other option while creating the app and in the second page you have to select the business and then continue from there that's it in this video thank you very much